So my question is, going into 2021, is online dating dead? Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It. That stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, I have a question. Is online dating dead? Anybody I know in my circle that is single and has been dating online using apps like Tinder, Bumble, OkCupid, whatever, none of them are either having success meeting anybody online, so they're not matching with anybody that they um, find attractive, Um, but those are the few and far between. But the others I know that are trying to, that want to date, they're just not getting online. They're not going on these apps. They might be going and swiping and looking and stuff, but they're not really taking it serious because they're... Uh, according to them, right? These are just the people that have shared with me. The issue is they are just afraid to get sick. You know, they don't know if that person uh, has the virus or, you know, what's going on. So they're very reluctant. And I want to believe that with, you know, with most public opinion right now, how people are at the very least hesitant um, and you know thinking about this thing that a lot more people are also scared and they're doing everything they can to just try to keep distance away from people and ride it out you know stay home uh, becoming a little bit more of a recluse because that's just the thing to do I mean it's, we've been conditioned to do that for nine months now and on top of that you know, I know a lot of times the reputation is that you have, you know, the Netflix and chill thing where people just, you know, meet on there, hook up and move on. Or they that's all it is, right? They don't necessarily uh, go out to dinner or like, you know, tr- doing traditional dating is I guess what I'm trying to say. So I look at all that and even if you were trying to really meet somebody and not just uh, hang out, have fun, hook up, as Corey Wayne says, the great Corey Wayne, um, then you know, you're know you not really doing anything other than just hooking up. You know, It's a little awkward when you completely don't know somebody, uh, you don't know much about the person, if they're an ax murderer or anything, and you know, you're just having them over your place, it's a little awkward, you know? Unless you got a couple people that have a lot of experience um, just running the gamut and spinning plates and all that stuff. I guess that's another story, but I think that it's an interesting time. And so just in my little circle, my little world, that's what I'm hearing that a lot of people aren't going out and dating. So I don't know what the future holds, uh, assuming that we're not out of the woods anytime soon as far as our public health and um, full opening of the economy that people can actually go out and feel like they're living a normal lifestyle again. But it's, it's interesting because, like, again, if you're really trying to date somebody, you can't go out to eat anywhere. What do you do? Just get, you know, pick up or cook a meal together. Some people are talking about just dating on uh, Zoom or online, you know, sitting across from each other on video chat. And... I guess, you know what, when push comes to shove, you know, you take what you can get and maybe you get to know each other in that way and it's, and it works out. But I mean, I would refer you to the, um, the shows, the reality shows where people, uh, either like don't meet in person and maybe just video or voice call and message each other. And when they finally get in person, if, if enough time has went by, they have fallen in love with an ideal of what who that person is. They haven't really spent time with them in real life. And so, like, let's say months go by or a year goes by and you're all of a sudden in front of this person, it can be a little bit strange because 
your relationship and those pheromones and that connection was built basically over a video or in pictures or in chatting or on the phone but you know how do you do it in real life in person it's going to be a little bit different because people can portray themselves one way uh, online and that's why if you are dating if you're in a particular uh, place or region or country where you do have full open freedom to go out and do things you know don't spend too much time making a pen pal you know talking to a person you know try to get together you know see them in person and see how you connect and how you relate because you might uh, look at it as a waste of time if you spend a few months and you've got your hopes up for this person and now you don't know who this person is so like I said catfish uh, 90 day fiance is a good example of that there's other shows um, or maybe you have examples in your life family friends that have dated that way and then when they got in front of the person it was a different story you know so just food for thought I was wondering what you guys think what's going on where you're at if you're dating um, the ones that I know actually I'll leave with this that have been uh, dating somebody for a while or they were casually hanging out or hooking up or we're just not really in a committed relationship, they've kept those partners uh, through lockdown and just said, you know, not really dating much, you're not dating much, there's really nothing we can do, why don't you come over, get some carry out, or we'll cook something, or we'll just kill a bottle of wine and, you know, bump uglies. So, if I may say, be so uh, direct. So I know that that stuff is still going on, but yeah, it's an interesting time. I'm very happy that I'm off the market and not having to uh, deal with that stuff. I've got a great girlfriend, and you know, so that's that hasn't been a challenge for us. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it is out there these days. You know, it's been over a year and a half for me since I've had a first date. You know, when I went out with my girlfriend, I was thinking in my head, I hope this is my last first date. And uh, we progressed quickly. It's all good. But we, we beat the, the, health, the health storm that swept through the world. But, you know, never know. If you don't decide to date during this time, or you don't have a significant other, it's a really good time to work on yourself, to do those things that I talk about and other, others have talked about in that, you know, strengthen yourself, you know, uh, become a whole person, work on your insufficiencies or your insecurities, work on your career, do things that are making you happy, and figure out how to be a whole and complete person that doesn't feel needy, like having you know, that those clingy, anxious emotions that you have to have somebody to feel happy because you really don't, you know, another person multiplies your life. They don't complete your life. So you get that down. And again, it's never perfect, but there's always work you can do on you if you're looking for those things. And maybe they've been pointed out to you. Look at your old relationships. Look at the things that worked out. I mean, the things that were good, the things that weren't so good, you know, take their, um, take feedback from your friends. Sometimes a scorned lover or an ex-lover, they might be speaking out of pain and point out things that really weren't issues, but now that either you or they have chosen not to be with you, sometimes, you know, people can start to, you know, sling mud and it's not pretty, but... You know, think about, look for patterns in your relationships. Do you seem to attract a certain type of person? You know, do you sabotage the relationship? Do you find somebody else sabotages it? Um, you know, and just work on that because you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be whole. You deserve to be loved and to love and have trust in a relationship and, you know, go through this wild world we live in, you know, with a partner that's going to help you to be your best and you're helping them to be their best. So guys, again, would love to hear your thoughts. 
what's going on with the online dating stuff in your world, if you're in it, if your kids are in it, if uh, your grandparents are doing it, whatever it is, all right? Like, share, subscribe.